Cool, hello and welcome to a little guitar lesson. Me, Daryl, and today I want to look at some right hand uh, strumming for kind of folk playing or if you're just playing acoustic guitar. A lot of the time I find people who, you know, even really good electric players struggle with making an acoustic guitar sound good or sounding good with their fingers on electric guitar. And the principle's really the same for, for whether you're doing acoustic or electric with this, but there's uh, some, some things that I use to sound good on, on acoustic guitar without a pick that I think work really well. I thought I'd, I'd shade them with you today. So first kind of rule is, is a lot of the time we're playing without a, a pick, or even if we're starting with a pick, I see a lot of people kind of, they, they go full on, trying to really pick through the strings with a lot of force that they play through. Having great articulation and force is fantastic if you want to play fast. So if you're trying to pick through something with speed, it can sound great. And it can be really good and appropriate for certain types of songs or certain parts of a song. But for most of the time, we want to have a nice dynamic range and we want it to sound really musical. It's drum, and, and by musical, I mean like pleasing to someone's ears when they hear it. And, it. and just kind of hitting the strings really hard. It's great if we're playing punk rock, but if we're, we're doing much else, it's, you know, it's not great for the sound of the guitar. But here's what I want you to do is, this is the way I do it. There's lots of people who do different things. I've seen kind of Ed Sheeran using his thumb sometimes, all sorts of stuff. I'll show you a few different ways, but there's one that I think works really consistently well, and I've done it with a bunch of my students, and they seem to get on really well with this too. Imagine you do actually have a pick in between your fingers. That's the first thing. So imagine we took a pick, and you were holding the pick between your thumb and first finger like this, and we just took the pick out. That's kind of how I want you to imagine playing with an acoustic guitar is going to be, is you, you imagine you've got a pick in between those fingers, we're holding it really lightly. So almost like we've got those two fingers there and now I'm holding something quite delicate as I play. So I don't want to be like, I'm not holding, pressing them together. There's no real tension through my hand. They're just touching like I'm A-OK -okay and I'm meditating or doing yoga om, right? Then you take that to the guitar and what should be happening is on the downstroke, I should be using the nail from my finger. On the upstroke, the nail from my thumb. So as I'm playing through there, I'm going down. Let me just show you. So, And that will feel a little bit weird if you've never done that before. And there is some micro adjustments that I'm doing. It's very, very slight. So what I see people do, this is a mistake that people make, is instead of doing this is what I want you to do, which is this, which is where you're just kind of moving up and down. What I see them do, and I, I don't want you to see this, is go like this. Like, we're not buttering bread. But there is a slight micro adjustment in my fingers as I'm moving up and down there where I'm probably just, just allowing it to be so loose on my fingers that as my finger moves down, this is so floppy that it might allow it to go back on itself a little bit. And this, for me, is, is where playing with fingers is very different to playing with a pick, is that we want to be a lot lighter. If I was playing with a pick here, I wouldn't allow the, the pick to kind of get bullied by the strings in the same way at all, but this, we kind of just let our fingers drop through the strings. And there is ever such slight movement. Just slow that down for you there. So then what we need to do is take it and try it with some chords so we can hear it, so. Something to bear in mind is that as you're doing this, what I don't want to hear really is the whole thing sounding the same as you go down. So if, if I change to do what most people do, they try and force through the strings when they're strumming. And I don't think that sounds musical at all. It's, it's kind of akin to if someone was playing the piano and instead of beautifully playing the keys, they're treating it uh, like, the, like a basketball or something and they're just hitting it like ah, 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 or hammering down. This is not cooking, this is not uh, sport, this is, uh, this is music, so we need to have some, some nice dynamic to it. And the way you do that is imagine as you're strumming, imagine like stroking a cat. If you stroke a cat just by like patting their head, what use is that 
really the cat's going to run off, they won't enjoy it. Whereas if you, you lightly, gently stroke a cat, before this gets too weird, then they'll enjoy it. And it's the same on the guitar. If I just make that kind of movement, it doesn't sound very good. Whereas if I... If I was to slow that down, let you know what's happening mechanically, it means actually over some strings I'm moving ever so slightly slower and then rushing through other ones. So you can try playing the lower strings slightly slower and then rushing through those, so it's like And then the same vice versa, you could go fast on the low ones and slow, so. I think it's harder to do, all right? Same with the F Have a go at it, let me know how you get on. I hope that helps with some, some picking stuff. It takes a little while to settle in. I recommend practicing it quite slowly, but I, I love the sound of, of acoustic guitar played with fingers, and uh, especially if you're strumming without uh, a pick, it sounds great. And also, I think part of the reason I, I learned to play so well without fingers is because I used to never have a pick on me when I'd get the guitar, so I'd end up practicing without a pick all the time. All right, have fun uh, and enjoy yourself. Let me know if you've got any questions or leave me comments in, in below. If you enjoy this lesson, then hit subscribe, hit like, and, and you can check out uh, my lessons. If you're a student in London, I'd love to meet you, I'd love to hear from you, and I'd love to, to teach you.